sports fans, and welcome to the craziest, wildest, bloodiest extravaganza outside of Jorez, Genki Bowl 7. I'm Zach, and you all know my tag team partner, Bobby. Bobby, previous Genki Bowls have had no lack of surprises. Of the nastiest sort, Zach, and this year will be no different. Murder, mayhem, and fun are all just a big part of any Genki Bowl, and the genius man cat has cooked up an exciting list of never-before-seen events that promise to be even deadlier than anything we've ever seen before. Oh, hey, worse than the Grizzly Bear Rodeo from Genki Bowl 4? There is absolutely no doubt about it. Oh, wow, I'm actually salivating. Oh my goodness. And as an added bonus, Bobby, we've just learned that the leader of the Third Street Saints will be taking part in today's festivities. Think they can keep the winning streak going, huh? We're about to find out. The games are gonna begin, so let's get down there. And when I say down, we mean down to the action. Here we are, Genki fans, at Apocalypse Genki! Today's match was created by the Angry Tiger, putting her own spin on the classic super ethical reality climax. That's right, Bobby, and I hear there's new things in store for our mascots. I think Tammy can fill us in on that. Tammy? Thanks, Bobby. In the deepest, darkest corners of the jungle lives a great warrior. Protected by fierce traps and mascot bodyguards, she is Hold on there, Tammy. What are you doing? Cash in uh, pocket! Reading the script Angry Tiger handed me. She handed you a script? And the best part's coming up. <laughs> she keeps her minions in line through the threat of shark-infested waters. So beware, all who enter the jungle of the Angry Tiger. <laughs> well, that was entertaining. Thanks, Tammy. Uh, you're welcome, Zach. Amazing. Sharks are a new addition to the Genki wheelhouse. Yeah, Looks like those mascots better hope they don't fall in. Another great burst of action by the contestant. Another fine maneuver. Extended reality! Mm, <laughs> smells delicious. <laughs> Turns up the heat on the seat. <laughs> oh, those Just flames have got to hurt. <laughs> that shot hit Time the mark. Bonus. This course is about to get oh, terrific. Always good to see that in Gangnam Ball. Pocket. things behind the scenes, Tammy. I just spoke with one of the mascot trainers, and he expressed his apprehension at the new format created by Angry Tiger. These mascots have been coming to Genki Bowl for years. What has them so worked up with this match? With so many of those hired to fill the ranks of the Genki mascot army, taken from the streets of Steelport, they're more used to the urban jungle than the actual one. Now they find themselves on unfamiliar ground. It's just a set dressing. How it's bad can it really be? Reports of malaria, yellow fever, and gangrene have been pouring in over the last few days, putting several of the mascots in the hospital for treatment. I it. call shenanigans on this set. When a contestant is dead and with a firearm as the leader of the same Genki Bowl this year, they're just looking for a way to get out before facing their impending death. Whoa, I have to agree, Bobby. You know, it looks like fear is getting the better of it. <laughs> several mascots have all lost limbs due to the gangrene sack. Better than catching a bullet with their face. <laughs> or being fed to the sharks. And that is the match!
has requested that you escort him to the Genki Bowl publicity appearances. However, he can be a bit so eccentric. See if you can get him all charged up to meet his fans. Hello, Genki Bowl fans. Zack and Bobby here bringing you some exciting Genki Ball updates from the genius Professor. That's right, Zack. We've just received word that Professor Genki has decided, in honor of Genki Ball 7, to make a public appearance on the streets of Steelport. And I also hear that the Master of Ceremony will be escorted by none other than our current Genki Ball frontrunner, the leader of the Saints. If you want to meet the genius behind the epic extravaganza of bloodshed and carnage, then head to Leather and Lace. And while you're there, go ahead and pick up a gift suit for that special someone in your life. That's all from us. We'll be back later with more coverage from Genki Ball 7. You know, I could use a gift suit. Still got it. Did something hit my leg? is needed for the start of the next Genki Bowl 7 match, created by the Genki Girl Sexy Kitten. Please head there as soon as you're able so we can get underway. Genki Ball 7 fans to the latest and greatest contest of guts, gore, and glory, courtesy of that crazy cat fan, Professor Genki. That's right, Zach. And today's show brings with it a very special surprise. Professor Genki's very old Genki girl, Sexy Kitten, has designed a brand new game for our contestant to play. And what a game it is. Here to tell us more is our correspondent down on the streets, Tammy Tolliver. Tammy. Thank you, Zach. Our contestant will have to maneuver a giant ball of yarn throughout the city and cause as much damage and mayhem as they can before time runs out. A giant ball of yarn? Looks like sexy kids. Oh, no. oh, oh, and that's not all, Bobby. The ultimate goal is to catch the mouse. Do that and the contestant will score big. Hmm, a 
mouse and a ball of yarn. Something the matter? No. It just sounds like my friend's bachelor party. Oh, uh, I don't think I want to know. You really don't, Zach. We never did find that mouse. With the destruction and explosions our audience is seeing here today, Professor Genki must be really pleased. As the second event for Genki Bowl 7, I can't see how he wouldn't be, Zach. Sexy King has really put together a great show. Oh, and there's more to come, Bobby. Another match full of yarn and carnage. This will be a game to roll for the record book, Zach. The Genki girls are certainly going all out in their designs. And the Saints head honcho is certainly going all out on this course. Makes you wonder if they always drive around like this. No need to wonder. I've seen this celebrity on the street, and let me tell you, nothing is safe when the Saints roll by. Then how are they still allowed to drive in still for? Would you like to be the officer who asks the Saints for their license and registration? I don't think so, Zach. Especially given the number of times they've been accused of grand theft auto. I doubt any registration would be in their name. I doubt they ever even had a license. On the best around. Just salt in the earth. Leave the keys. Guess what? The professor thought you did such a fantastic job. He wants you to drive again. Remember, don't look him in the eye unless you want to wake up in a North Korean prison camp. Hey there, Get Cable fans. Are you ready for another surprise? Courtesy of Professor Genki himself. After his last public appearance, Genki has decided to stir up his adoring yet bloodthirsty fans yet again. And of course, the leader of the Saints, the champion so far here at Genki Bowl 7, will be accompanying him. I heard last time the crowds were ablaze with excitement. People left with third degree burns. <laughs> Nothing like a little calamine lotion won't fix. So, sports fans, if you want to catch a glimpse of the genius man cat, hurry on down to Planet Saints right now. And don't forget to tune in for the next event here at Genki Bowl 7. It's the blood pumping to my loins. Oh! to the best.
Welcome back, Genki fans. It's time to watch as the leader of the Saints tears up the town once again for fun and profit. Fun is right, Zach. This giant ball of death yarn seems to be the perfect way to cruise around the city of Steelport. But only in Sexy Kitten Yarn Gang can you find such a mode of transportation. Outside of Genki Bull 7, what's your favorite way to get around, Bobby? Well, that's easy. By helicopter. You aren't afraid of heights, I take it. If I have to choose between getting mutilated by the drivers in this city or a carefree flight with a view, I think the choice is obvious. But what if there's some sort of uh, malfunction that causes the chopper to go down? Parachutes are a wonderful invention, Zach. And if the chute fails? Try all you want, Zach. I'm still leading you to work in the morning. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I saw you putting sugar in my gas tank last night. Just salt in the earth. City's gonna hit Genki with one hefty pun. Excuse me, Zach. The rumor on the street is the mayor is quite a fan of Professor Genki. It seems doubtful any fine would be issued due to this event. <laughs> I think it's the Genki girls the mayor is more interested in. And if he wants a private interview with any of the girls, punching Genki in his pocketbook isn't the way to go. Well, I wouldn't want to be the mugger who tried to hold up the overlord of Genki Ball. I agree. Few people know this, Zach, but Professor Genki used to test out all of his games personally. That sounds like a must-see event. Why doesn't he anymore? Well, the cleaning crew quit after they saw the massacre he left behind. Pulling bits of mascots out of the air ducts and off the ceiling can't be fun for anyone. I wouldn't be surprised, but is he really that good? Have you ever seen a room full of brutes crying like newborn babies? Uh, Fans, the final match in Angry Tigers Apocalypse Genki is about to begin. Here we go. I'm hoping for more mascots being ripped apart by man-eating shark sack. <laughs> you mean mascot-eating sharks, don't you, Bobby? Well, now you're splitting hairs. You mean fur. Oh, that was terrible. Hi, thank you. Okay, take us away from this conversation, Dan. Well, Bobby, several sharks are actually having digestive problems with the fur from the mascot outfit. Oh, it's God. I guess there's no escaping the truth here. Sharks and mascots are truly star-crossed lovers. But no less entertaining for the fans. Right you are there, Bobby. This is turning me on. Epico! <laughs> ah, great execution Cash by the state. Pocket! It's been a long time since Professor Genki's has seen the caliber of shooting. That's what the fans pay to see. Ah, I thought they missed that one. Oh, that's a great. Looks like the present is up for a contestant. Quite a performance so far. Oh, oh yeah, well done indeed. Cash in pocket. Great shot on the target. Epico. We don't see a contestant dominate an arena like Wait. Yes, it's a present. 
Wish we had insta replay on that. Another fine maneuver. Cash in pocket. Now that's the way it should be done. Cash in pocket. the Sad Panda Sky Blazing! Professor Genki's own Sad Panda has created this all-new event just for Genki Bull. And boy, it is a doozy. And here to give us the details is our very own Tammy Tolliver. Tammy, what does our contestant have to look forward to today? Thanks, fellas. Well, the leader of the Saints will have to skydive through floating rings for cash. Balloons are ethical or unethical, but either will help keep them in the air. And rooftops are populated with Genki mascot teams looking to put a hurting on our contestants. Sounds like quite the event. And what can you tell us about the panda suit our contestant is wearing? The panda suit allows the contestant to fly forward faster than normal, keeping them up for a longer time. There's nothing more majestic than seeing a panda in flight. Wait a minute, Bobby. Don't be ridiculous. Pandas can't actually fly. Well, it's a metaphor, Zach. I don't think it is. Come on. Now, who's being ridiculous now? Debris falling into the streets below, Bobby. Let's check now with Tammy Tolliver to get the crowd's reaction. Tammy, give it to us. Uh, Bobby, things down here are a combination of mass chaos and kleptomania. Most of the shankings, however, appear to be over the flamethrowers, which kept the balloons in the air. I imagine those are real crap lasers and steel poles. <laughs> yes, in fact, several people are heading towards one now. Oh, a businessman just beat down a hobo with his briefcase. A sight not uncommon to these parts. Then an old lady plumped her with her cane. <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. Well, this lady, oh, wait. Looks like a hipster in a Third Street Saints hoodie just falcon punched her from behind. Wow, guess our contestant has some fans down below, Bobby. That's right, Zach, and they're gonna have a lot more if this Genki Bowl lead holds up. I tell you, Zach I and hope Bobby. you... And there's the finish! That's some skill our contestant is showing today, Zach. We've seen this saint shoot, and now we've seen this saint fly. And frankly, I'm excited to see what's next, Bobby. I hope it's a cooking event, because after this, all I can think about are delicious panda dogs. I am starving, Zach.
welcome back to Sad Panda's very own Sad Panda Sky Blazing here at Genki Ball 7. We've seen our contestant complete the first level of this course already. And just as expected, this saint can soar with the best of them. No doubt, but eager to please the fans, Professor Genki has ordered the difficulty ramped up this second time around. Speaking of eager to please, let's check in down on the streets with our girl, Tammy. What do you got? I'm standing on a rooftop downtown with executives from several Steelport banks. Champagne is being served by scantily clad women, while a lot of bets are being placed on how this saint will perform today. What's the spread for today's match? Only those buying in are giving the numbers, but this wager may explain the seven jumpers that were scraped off the street after the last match, Zach. Ooh, ouch. So that's why my bank falls down. Well, they got the bonus dash as long as they can get off the roof in time. To go. I think I even feel bad for Sam Panda, Zach. What is that? Well, well, how would you like your face to be synonymous with unethical? But the unethical targets are the ones usually avoided. So you're saying it's better to be ignored? No wonder she's so depressed. Genki Bowl has spent. What about the Gorilla Trapeze from Genki Bowl 5? You know, the only real air time in that was the two seconds of free fall between fending off attacks from monkeys with machetes and falling to the carpet of buzz saws. Here, you don't have that same risk. Good point, Bobby. You don't, know, unless, of course, the parachute doesn't work. Or a plane flies it. There's the end of the match again, Bobby. Genki is sure to be happy with how well Sad Panda's course has been a crowd pleaser. And our contestant is sure to be happy with that result. Thanks for watching Genki Bowl 7, everybody. See you next time. Bye now. The most amazing individual performance I've ever seen since Ping Pong Polly were Thursday nights at Safeway. Oh, I remember that. Hey, Bobby, how about we go down to the lovely Tammy Tolliver, who is standing by with our new champion, Tammy. Thanks, Zach. You know, over the years, you've had your doubters. Some have said you were just riding on the coattails of more accomplished people. Is this vindication for you? Uh, absolutely. Uh, not just for me, but for all the kids out there watching at home thinking that They'll never make something out of themselves. Uh, yeah, I just want to tell those kids, no matter what, work hard and anything is possible. Oh, what a great message to end on. Well, Zach, I... Hey, you know, I, I spent years honing my craft. Murdering, robbing, assaulting, more murdering, uh, light treason, murdering again. All so that when I got my shot, I would be ready. Uh, that's, uh, enlightening. But what... You gotta follow your dreams, kids. Because if you don't, you know what happens? You're gonna become your parents. How fucking depressing would that be? Think about it.